Hello everybody and welcome to 3D Experience World 2022. Here to fill us in about this year's Swagin Summit is a SOLIDWORKS user group network manager, Dan Wagner. Hey Tracy. Hey Dan, thanks so much for being here. So you have some exciting things to share with us about Swagin. I do, yeah. So yesterday was the annual Swagin Summit at 3D Experience World. This is an event where we gather all the user group leaders and user group members who are attending 3D Experience World, gather them all together, recap the year, you know, talk about all the incredible things that happened in the previous year, and we give out the Swag and Choice Awards. So, I mean, a lot of things happened in 2021, and, and in this case, it's a chance for us to get together, celebrate those things, celebrate those people, really, and, and just have a good time. That's fantastic. Now, I know you've given out some awards, but you still have some yet to give out. Is that true? That's true, yeah. yeah. So we gave out five uh, yesterday, and, and for example, we gave out the Meetup of the Year Award. And in 2021, we held Slug Me 6, which was the SOLIDWORKS longest and largest user group meeting ever. It was 24 hours. Uh, we broadcasted the whole time. We had presentations from amazing SOLIDWORKS users around the world. That was an easy choice for Meetup of the Year. Uh, and yeah, and I'm happy to say we have two very special awards reserved for tomorrow. This is the Michelle Pillars Community Award and the Wayne Tiffany User Group Leader of the Year Award. We're going to hear those live tomorrow. Myself and Sucha are going to be on general session tomorrow. Fantastic. Well, I will see you then. I look forward to finding out who receives those very special awards. Yep. Thanks so much, Ann. Thank you. And you know, community is such a big topic. We want to take time to recognize the best community in all of any software anywhere. Of course, the SOLIDWORKS user uh, network. And to do that, I'm going to turn things over to Sean. Yeah, so much user group stuff going on, like running from one session to another. So uh, I appreciate you guys squeezing me in. This is a little bit different, though, than in-person world, I got to imagine. Definitely a little different, but we still had a lot of fun. I got to say, like, we still had a, an awesome event yesterday, and, and Swagin just had such a fantastic year last year. We had so much to, to celebrate, really. This network is a system of, of groups of volunteers, really. These are folks that use SOLIDWORKS, love SOLIDWORKS, want to get together to share tips and tricks, network with each other. And traditionally, to more than 25 years, this has been done in a physical format. People meeting like at night, on their own, on their right. own time, again, on a volunteer basis. The awards are like what we really look forward to, recognizing those folks who who um, rose up in the community, especially in the last two years where we needed extra support, extra right. people, um, extra effort to keep the network moving, and, and it was just an awesome time. One thing we saw with Swagin in 2021 was we grew globally really quickly. Yeah. Because of this virtual format, it allowed a group in, you know, in India to connect and collaborate with groups here in North America. So um, all of a sudden we had a lot of grow, uh, growth globally and we wanted to make sure to recognize that as part of our awards for 2021. So the group of a year was a group from Colombia. It was an awesome group, the Caribbean wow. group, who held some fantastic meetings consistently through the entire year, through the pandemic, and again, it gave us a chance to really recognize them. If you're not local to a group, if you want to consider starting your own group, we have a very simple application process that you can uh, follow through with, and we'll walk you through the entire thing and get you onboarded. It's easy, it's fun, uh, we, we provide a lot of resources and, and a lot of uh, help on the back end, and you would not believe how supportive the rest of the user group leaders are. So I wanted to thank you, Dan, for coming on to SOLIDWORKS Live. Of course, thank you guys for having me, I appreciate it. So earlier today, we heard from Dan Wagner, who sat with Brian and I, talking about Swagin, you know, the, the overall community, a lot of what's going on at, with Swagin at 3D Experience World. He mentioned a couple of awards, right? A couple of award winners, and I am joined by three of those award winners here. Wow, you're all here. You just you just, you just instantly popped up. So we have our, our reseller AE of the year, Tracy Wittig. Uh, we have Marcus Brown from the reseller of the year, MLC CAD Systems, and Heather Haas from the partner of the year. But again, how can, how can a, any AE look to help their local user group? Just be present. Uh, don't only show up for when you are presenting. Attend as many sessions as you can and have and show genuine interest in others. Uh, this is a rare opportunity to get to know other people after hours and learn about what ignites that spark and it's different for everyone. Um, it's a chance to really let your hair down as a SOLIDWORKS user and you'll be surprised how much there is to learn from others and it's truly a win-win situation for everyone. We work together to try to make the user groups as much fun as possible, uh, try to really make great presentations, uh, come up with some interesting stuff, some interesting uh, approaches. We try to 
help out with ideas on you know venues and food anything we can do to help out because we do enjoy it a lot we enjoy seeing our customers and hanging out and as as uh, tracy said we're there to attend we're there as users as well uh, we just happen to be some of the people that know the software really well so we can kind of help out answer questions and things like that but we've all kind <laughs> of learned um, how to leverage that technology to stay engaged because I think at the very core is that engagement right the connectivity right. what our community is built on and whether it's for personal mental health professional networking we embraced it as an opportunity to stay even more connected than our original reach may have been because the community has grown as well over the last couple of years as we saw in the Swuggin meeting last night, the growth. Thank you so much to the three of you, Tracy, Marcus, and Heather, keeping us laughing and learning no matter where we are around the world. Thank you all. Thank you. So in our department, we are saving lives in moments that matter and we are building the world which works for us. That's the goal of our company. So like Dr. Lacey mentioned, we want to have a powerful solutions to solve our complex problem. And, uh, your latest one is uh, Women in Engineering and celebrating the, all the things that the community mm -hmm. and the women in the SolarWorks community um, are actually doing. Are achieving. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean... That was, a, that was a challenging one because they started off with interviews with the, the six women who would be uh, focused on okay and each of them had a different different story with a different natural setting that I'd capture them in and and to put it together on one sort of contiguous uh, landscape uh, with each of their different roles was uh, it was interesting challenge but uh, yeah, we, we got through it yeah I mean we, we've uh, we've had a lot of conversations with Danielle um, we're looking yep. to meet Megan tomorrow Melissa's based in the UK so we've we've worked with her we've done stuff with Jade as well Jade and Betty um, so we've worked with many of these women um, already um, and they all do awesome fantastic awesome things and they, they all do their own individual things we were able to take one of our um, structures or one of our booms and, and apply that to that splash screen on visualize hopefully soon to be coming with uh, solid work splash screen too yeah let's let's show that again guys um, so what we're actually looking at is, is one of your products right here on the screen uh, this is the solid visualize connected and then we have the visualized professional graphic uh, yeah and this this was this is through your involvement in the champions program so I think it's interesting through through both of your guys perspectives we're seeing how you know involvement in in communities, continuing to educate ourselves, um, and really just putting a, a premium um, on on education and, and involvement is is so important. 3D experience platform technology provides an amazing force for doing good. Makers for Good Makeathon is an innovation marathon focusing on creating a sustainable future. This Makeathon at 3D Experience World 2022 was open for participation for both professionals and students. And the winners are Water Cleaning Robot from Team Momentum, Egypt. So as you've seen, our user community is a driving force in future of everything. They innovate every day and continue to be the catalyst in their local communities across the world. Now, let me invite user community manager, Dan Wagner, on to speak more about this. Hey, Suja. Hey, Dan, how are you? Good, good, thanks for having me. Well, the SolidWorks user group, the, the Swagin network, and the SolidWorks champion programs are two of the most imp important pillars of our community. Sure. Tell us, tell us more about them. Yeah, last year, uh, the SolidWorks User Group Network grew to 235 groups with 20,000 members across the, across the globe, which is pretty crazy. We onboarded 60 new groups in 19 countries. The SolidWorks Champions Program, under the leadership of, of Sean O'Neill, grew to over 500 and actually now at 600 as of, as of this day uh, in 53 countries, which again is just, is just amazing. Well, that, that is some amazing growth uh, of our community. Now I know that one of the traditions, uh, Dan, of 3D Experience World yep. is to deliver the Swagin Choice Awards at the annual Swagin uh, Summit. Yeah, for so, sure. So, 
How did that go? Yeah, the summit was a blast. It was a good time. This was Monday night. The summit is a chance for us to gather all of the group leaders and group members, anybody who's attending the conference. We kind of recap the previous year, talk about what happened in 2021, and we give out some awards. You can see these awards here, actually these five awards. And I'm happy to say we reserve two very special awards for today. Is that okay if we do that right now? Of course, absolutely, go ahead. Awesome. These two awards are special. They're named after two very important people who really helped make Swagin what it is today. So firstly here, the uh, Michelle Pillars Community Award for 2021 goes to Eric Beatty of the Seattle area SolidWorks Power User Group. Eric's an awesome guy, awesome group leader. And second here, the Wayne Tiffany User Group Leader of the Year Award for 2021 goes to Theodore Chartopsis of the Hellenic Swag in, Atlanta, in uh, Athens, Greece. Awesome. Uh, Suchit, thanks. It, this was awesome to be able to recognize these folks in front of the entire conference. I really appreciate it. Well, Dan, thank you, and you're always welcome on the stage. All right, thanks. Thank you. So as I said a moment ago, the user community is a driving force. These programs and these users are truly ensuring the future and development of our community. Speaking of energy and enthusiasm, there is a special person that showed up this morning, and I would like to have him here on stage with me. Joe, come over. You are not virtual, right? You wow, I'm not here. virtual. <laughs> well, you know, it's hard to imagine. Am I, is it reality or is, am I virtual? I can't really tell. Technology is really something else. Yeah, I can tell you that you look so very much in person, as usual, Joe. So thank you for, uh, for coming. And, you know, I would like uh, to give you the privilege to announce uh, the next uh, in-person event. Tell everybody where we will be. Wow, this is awesome. Well, I'd like to say that it's gonna all started, start where it ended. We're heading back to Nashville. Uh -huh. So, see you in 3D Experience The music well. shooting. <laughs> shooting. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for coming. Thanks Joe. a lot. Yep. I'll see you soon. For sure. All right. Very good. So, um, we will get back together in person, making new connections, and imagine even more possibilities moving forward start the planning for it now please thank you for taking the time to join us virtually this year we look forward to seeing you in person next year in nashville